Hey, this is Matthew Kufo again with JTEC. Today we're going to be talking about a, the air system on a 2004 Freightliner. Um, this is the whole air system from the go air governor, the air compressor, the air dryer, the primary and secondary tanks, the wet tanks, everything. We're going to be going through it all and give a brief description on what everything is. So, starting out first, right here, we have our air compressor. Right here is our air governor. So, the air compressor is mainly, more, it just builds up the air pressure for the brake system, the suspension, the entire air system in general comes from this. Uh, the governor, uh, it regulates the air pressure. Uh, it goes for the, you know, the air dryer, the air, for the air compressor, basically so we do not send all the high pressure air, correction, not high pressure, but the air straight from the compressor through the entire system. So, if you look right back here, this is your treadle valve, all right? Otherwise, you can possibly even call it your foot brake valve, whatever you want to call it as. Um, that supplies air to the service brake chambers. Um, that is straight from the, if you would go right on the other side of the firewall there, is the, foot, is the actual brake itself. You can see all the lines coming off of it, the yellow, the green, the orange, the black, everything's coming from there. So as soon as you hit on the brakes, then the air goes from there, continues on. All right, right there is your air dryer. All right, nice little funny, nice little thing. It's full of desiccant. The air dryer's main purpose is it filters out all the moisture and any contaminants that is from the, uh, the compressor. So it comes through and this is where it filters everything out. Normal little valve down here where my finger is. And so you could bleed off any of the excess water and air pressure. And the water and any oil that's possibly built up. All right, so I know here you see this nice little label. Yes. But on the other side of here, on the side of the fuel tank here, is your wet tanks on the forward end, secondary tanks on the back end. The primary tank is on the other side of it truck so your tanks are this your supply tank or wet tank whatever you want to call it what it does is it's the first tank after the air compressor so it's the initial tank all right then you got your primary tank your primary tank is mainly for the driveline brakes while your secondary tank is mainly for your steer brakes so it goes from the compressor the primary tank the uh air dryer and then to the primary and secondary tanks all right all right we're in the cab now here is the hand control valve it's a T handle it's next to the steering wheel um, it's direct line to direct line for air to the trailer sometimes you'll find it as like a shifter attached to the steering column this one here is right there now if you come over a little bit this is your PP1 and PP2, all right? Uh, from there, you have your, you have your, on top here is your, uh, the trailer air supply. So your trailer, and it's the red stop sign. To, and it, what it does is it controls the vehicle's trailer parking with the tractor uh, trailer combination. So you can actually pull this out, push it in, as you can see, pull to evacuate, push to supply, all right? Right below it here, this yellow diamond looking thing, it's the parking brake. Exactly what it is. It's a parking brake valve. Alright, supplies air to the parking brake. Now, if you go back behind here a little bit, you can kind of see this back down in there. That giant that valve down there with all the hoses going into it. That right there. I'll leave this right here so you guys can see it a little bit more is your tractor protection valve all right what that does that shuts off the air to the trailer before disconnecting the valves all right it is the valve for all works these but it also set up neat things so that if you have uh your st air starts bleeding down locks up uh push it so that your locks will break up lock up for your trailer and your park and your park brake will engage all right Pretty neat little thing back there. Very important uh, for 
the braking system. All right, guys, right there, that nice, pretty piece down there, that right there. All right, that there is your uh, park brake chamber. All right, uh, for the park brake, it includes the, it also includes the service brakes, but for this one, it's on the Ford drive axle. So if you look back here, you got the Ford drive axle and the rear drive axle. All right. And it's just that. It's the park brake. So when you get the park brake, the four drive axle will not turn. Now if you come around here, right there you can see your service brake chamber. All right. Now, it's just that. When you hit the brakes, the nice thing is it's on all the tires. So the one there, there's going to be one right down there. And of course, there's ones on the steer axle also. All right, as I'm trying to set this up right, this little thing right here with the little X on it, that thing right there, that is your, um, <clears throat> sorry, your relay valve. So it really has two applications, all right? Um, the first one is the application and release of the trailer brakes. And the second one, in case of an emergency application uh, of the brakes in the event of an accidental uh, decoupling of the trailer. So trailer decouples, it cuts in the air brakes on the trailer and makes the brakes on the trailer lock up so you don't have it just rolling down the interstate. All right, now you come back here. I'll try to get a little better on it. Uh, Last but not least is this little baby here. Now, this one is actually two different things. Let me get down here so you can kind of see it a little better. So you actually have two, one there and one down here, separated by that thin little layer, all right? What you have is the quick release valve, all right? And that one, it's a speed up for release of air from the brake chambers to let the brakes release quicker, all right? This little bit down here, that's all it is. The top one, this little thing right here, what that one is, is the anti-compounding valve. And this is a relay valve with a double check valve built into it. That's all it is. Pretty simple, as you can see there's airlines going all over the place, different colors. Um, big thing I can tell you guys, most airlines are made of plastic. Do not overbend them, do not break them because if you do then you got to replace it all right if there's any questions please let me know drop me a line and i'll see what i can do to help you out have a nice day